What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Dag's Dangles. I'm your host, Justin Dag, a.k.a. The Dangler. The Swarm desperately trying to clear this. Now Dagle's got a bit of space through. We're here at Center Ice today talking about all things you need to know regarding hockey sticks. So we're going to give you a few tips and pointers that you need to know so that you can make the right choice for you. Uh, so make sure you're checking out the website, centerice.co.nz and kamorahockey.co.nz for your links to our Dags Dangles episodes. As you can see by the great wall behind me here, sticks come in all different shapes and sizes. So there's going to be four things you want to look out for when you're making that choice. Number one is the curve. Number two, the flex. Number three is the lie. And number four is the price point. All right, so these things are going to be a little bit different within the range, but also whether you're a beginner or you're somebody that's been playing for years, you're gonna to wanna to keep these things in mind. Now, before we actually pick a stick, we gotta figure out which way we're gonna be shooting. So the best way to do that, guys, is to make sure top hand is your dominant hand, all right? A lot of the game is played with one hand on our stick, so we have to be proficient with that top hand. Uh, the other reason is stick handling all originates from the top hand. So if we're doing it right, top hand has to be the one making all the action. Step one, picking your curve. All right, for you beginners out there, I recommend you stick with something that's a little flatter. This is going to help you guys get off the ground and develop your skill set. It's going to make passing, stick handling, and shooting a little bit easier. Uh, so definitely get started with a flat curve. As you move through, it's going to become a trial and error process. It's something you guys got to feel out yourselves. Uh, picking the right curve comes down to personal preference. As you start to develop and progress and notice your skills improving, you might decide you want to change your curve. That's totally fine. Curve selection is a personal preference. Just check out the centerice.co.nz website. They've got a blade chart for you, and they'll give you all the information you need to make the right choice. Time to get our flex on. Not that kind of flex, we're talking sticks. If you've got a kid who's just starting out at ice hockey, flex isn't something you have to worry too much about. The idea here is to keep them at a low flex for as long as you can. This means they're getting the most out of the stick. As you notice your skill and size starting to develop, you're going to want to make sure that your flex is following that progression. Okay, so as you move up, starting to get bigger and stronger, increase the flex. One common mistake we see here a lot, guys, are players that are using a stick that's far too stiff for them. I myself made that mistake and just recently changed. I went from a 105 flex down to an 85, and I've noticed all the benefits. My shot's harder, accuracy with my passing's better, and my puck handling. I got a better feel. One last aspect to keep in mind, especially for your advanced players, is the lie of your stick. A lie of your stick means how the blade is sitting on the ice. We want to maximize the contact between the blade and the ice, which will lead to better puck control overall. So make sure you're taking into account the lie of your stick. For you beginners out there, you're looking for something like this. Now it's all wood, but that's alright, because as we're just developing our skills, we're going to want to keep something that's not going to break the bank. Alright, so this is perfect. If you're an advanced player playing a lot, this isn't going to cut it for you. You're going to want something like this. Whole thing's composite from head to toe. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's lightweight, but it's also got the durability, and it's going to give you maximum performance. One question I get asked a lot is how tall should my stick be? Now, in all honesty, that comes down to personal preference. However, nice guideline for you is somewhere between the nose and the chin. Keep in mind if you're sizing up the stick in store, you're going to want to get up on your tippy toes so that you're the same height as you would be on the ice in your skates. And keep in mind that if you do cut the stick down, you are going to be affecting the flex as well as the lie of the stick. So think twice before you make a hasty decision. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. That's been another episode of Dags Dangles. Big shout out and thanks to Paradise for letting us film here. Uh, make sure you're checking out the website, centerice.co.nz and kamorahockey.co.nz for next month's clips, alright? Remember, in the meantime, keep your stick on the ice.